G'day and welcome to Valheim. I'm going to make myself a, in addition to my building, in a previous video I basically did a stave church uh, as a, a build, and in this particular one I'm going to do a Trellborg, which seems to be a ring-shaped uh, village with a palisade uh, that was used in the past. And yeah, to give people an idea of how to do it, I guess, in Valheim, uh, you're going to need basically a stone cutter. Uh, so if you haven't progressed far enough to get one of those, you're going to need to get that far. Uh, what ends up happening is that these blocks that you actually get have a nice snap point. And so they do snap together quite well. The ends snap together really, really nicely. But you can turn them a single degree at an angle. And you can see here, it's actually snapped to the inside corner. If you go across a little bit, it'll snap to the outside corner. And so because there's an extra snap point there, you can... I've actually chosen to do that a little bit close, but it illustrates the point. It actually snaps together very, very nicely so that you end up having a nice, neat formation. And you can make close to circles, uh, albeit that they're a little bit angular. And so I'm going to use that technique to basically make my trouble. And so uh, let's get into it. I'll uh, put a few cuts of my build along the way until we get to the final product. All right, as you can see, things are coming along quite nicely now. The outside ring is done, uh, but for this next section, and it was um, quite a bit of a painful one, uh, because I'd stepped back uh, several steps or several blocks away from the outside ring, I'd essentially reduced the interior wall so that I couldn't have the same alignment. And finding that I initially tried to do it with the wooden palisades and I just could never get the corners to line up very, very nicely. And I was going to back it with some blocks because in the original troll ball picture it shows grass that's actually growing um, within the, the palisade section. And I didn't really want to raise the land uh, because I knew it would be very untidy and I wanted to use blocks as my raised pathway with the palisade. Um, and it took me quite a while, I think three or four times I demolished the, the plan. And what I ended up settling with is uh, two of the blocks, of the 4 by 2s uh, I had to reduce basically 8 down to 6. And once I'd actually fi figured out that configuration, the, the inner palisade worked quite nicely because I was able to get the blocks to join almost perfectly, slightly off, almost perfectly on each of the corners. And that then allowed me to lay the palisades over the top of them and give it a bit of a nicer look.
Okay, as we can see, the Trelleborg is mostly complete. I wouldn't say that it's actually done. I'm not particularly happy with my port section yet, so I'm still trying to work out how to really encompass that and whether I actually close it off and then put a jetty off the end and work with it in that way or find other some other method of utilizing this because the creatures do actually swim around and it becomes a little bit of a problem. And I had thought that I might... Uh, instead of having this as a moat, I might bring it up just enough so that it's slightly, either just slightly in or just slightly out of the water. And I will then put spikes all the way around. Um, but otherwise, you know, I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Um, but the, uh, the other part to this is that, unfortunately, uh, because I've done such heavy modifications to the world, and I knew it was a thing, um, and I just wasn't expecting it to happen so soon, is that you end up having quite a lot of uh, frame drops uh, because of all of the modifications you do to the world. And I should be able to exacerbate it by leaving the area and coming back. So if we have a quick jaunt off to the outside here and take that to get it to... Oh, there we go. Cause it to come out of render a little bit. Have a bite to eat while we wait. Right, and that probably will be far enough. Let's run back in and see what happens. Last time I did this, I was actually in combat, which probably wasn't helping. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of a stutter now. Oh, such a frame drops. And I've had it where I've actually completely had the grass render in while I was actually standing here. And so now it's actually all rendered in, it's not too bad. So while I'm actually here and I have the whole place rendered in, that works pretty good. But if I leave and come back and have to have it re-render all my changes, it, um, it causes a little bit of a problem. But what I do have, which will make it even worse, is all this free space behind me here. I was going to set up my own little house. I'm probably going to actually take this uh, farm for the boars and push it over to the side and actually have my own little house here next to my crafting hut, next to my smelting hut, and next to my portal uh, house. And the other thing that I actually have to do, because I get spawns in here, so there probably are some still here. Let's go have a look. So the deer spawn in here. Uh, the the graylings do spawn in here and because of the water I'm actually getting necks spawning here. Now I don't mind the necks and whatnot spawning in here but um, the way to cut them off is you have to build more crafting stations and I did have equidistant crafting stations initially but I removed them to give it a better look and feel uh, but yeah as a result I now have creature spawns. Come on get up there. Sometimes it'll jump up and other times it won't. Yeah, so it's quite a lovely looking place. I do want to put some maybe some more trees, although the original trailwalk doesn't have trees. But if I cut them down now, they'll wipe out my buildings. So I've got them. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, a trailwalk inspired palisade. Uh, I next have, really have to work on just polishing it up. There's a bit of a cliff line over here from the cutting away from the edge that I did. And I kind of want to terraform that and make it a bit smoother and turn it back into grass, which would also be quite nice. All right. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, what are some of the inspired builds that you've actually done or are thinking of doing? I've seen some crazy stuff out there. I just randomly came across someone who'd done some Star Trek inspired buildings, which uh, was incredible to look at, but not something I'd consider doing, given that I'm trying to work with the Scandinavian architecture if I can. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure that you uh, drop a like, subscribe if you'd like to, and maybe you'll catch one of my videos later, and I'll catch you in the next one.